I'm Stephen Griggs, and I'd like to talk to you today about Ragent's network design philosophy. The most effective Ragent networks are the ones that are designed with the philosophy in mind of getting packets out of the air as rapidly as possible and onto the wire and onto your application servers. Using Ragent's APT technology, this allows multiple breadcrumbs to be plugged into the same wired segment and not create a broadcast loop. This will allow breadcrumbs to mesh over a high-speed wired link. This will allow you to move packets out of the air and onto your fiber as rapidly as possible and onto your application servers. APT also gives us no single point of failure in a Ragent Kinetic Mesh network. As we move packets out of the air and onto fiber, this allows for more room for packets in the air. More packets equals more throughput equals more bandwidth for your network. Remember our rule of twos. That is, two nodes need to have at least two good connections with two peers on two different frequencies. We're looking for excellent costs of 3,000 or less, and we're looking for signal-to-noise ratios between 55 dB and 25 dB. Your APT network should include breadcrumbs that are physically connected to the LAN, that is an Ethernet connection directly to the LAN through a switch or even through a point-to-point -point or a point-to-multipoint -point radio. We want as many redundant APT connections as possible. We want them as geographically spread out throughout your large wireless kinetic mesh. Remember for APT to work, IPv6, multicast, and UDP need to be enabled on your VLAN trunk. On your mobile assets, make sure that your antennas are mounted in such a way that they have maximum view of your operational area. You want to make sure that you're not creating blocking problems by only mounting your antenna in the middle or only on one side of the vehicle. Always keep your coax runs very short. We like at least 18 inches as you do need to remote the antennas from the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs were not designed and will not pass FCC certification with directly connected antennas. Make sure you choose antennas with appropriate gain for making connections to infrastructure. When designing your network, make sure you're planning for 802.11n density and ranges. Remember, you get about 70% of the coverage with 802.11n than you would with A, B, or G. Try to use default power settings when possible. In Ragent Instamesh, we offer dynamic transmit power. This will allow your breadcrumbs to choose the power setting that is appropriate for the peer they want to talk to. While transmitting full power to infrastructure, peer-to-peer, -peer, breadcrumbs can reduce their power on a peer-by-peer -peer basis. When designing your Ragent Kinetic Mesh Network, make sure that you're focused on getting packets out of the air and onto fiber as rapidly as possible. You also want to focus on tuning your power down when possible so that you can clean up the ambient noise floor of the frequencies you're attempting to use. 